Today I'm going to show you how to install and use a script released in 2015 called the ASOR Vehicle Selector. With this script you can spawn various vehicles from cars, tanks, helicopters, planes, boats and more from either the vanilla game or from mods. To begin with we need to create a scenario to put the ASOR Vehicle Selector script into. So we're going to go to this location, we're going to place a player and we're going to choose a Rifleman Unarmed and place him right about here. And the next we're going to go to the top right under props and into the search box and type in notice and that will bring up a notice board. We're going to choose that and we're going to put that right about here and then we're going to place another notice board I'm going to place that right about here about there right about here we're just going to save the scenario by clicking the save icon and we're going to go down to stratus and then we're going to name this asor underscore selector now that we have our scenario saved, we're going to go to the top where it says scenario. You're going to click on that and then you're going to go down to open scenario folder. Now that we're in the scenario folder, what we need to do is install the ASOR vehicle selector script. So I have a copy of that right here in another folder. So we're going to basically move this to this folder. When you have your scenarios established, you have a folder. This is going to be exactly what you're going to do is put this folder inside your mission folder. Let's go into the script folder itself. So you just double click and open it. There is a readme in here. So let's just open up the readme. I updated this readme and outlined it, underlined certain things, rearranged some things. This is the latest version of the script. I'm going to go to the installation instructions and here it says include the following in your description.ext file. We need to create a script file called the description.ext. Highlight this code here. Press Control C which will copy it. You're going to either open a notepad document or a notepad plus plus. I'm going to open a notepad plus plus document. Make sure that the cursor is blinking and press control V and that will paste the code. So click on save and go down to where it says save as type. Click on that. Now if you're in notepad plus plus like I am, go to all file types. If you're in notepad, it should say all files or something like that. Next, go to the file name. You're gonna type in the word description dot ext. Now remember, this has to be correct, description.ext. You're going to save this to your mission folder. So I'm going to locate my mission folder, which is going to be on my desktop, under Missions, and Stratus, and then the ASOR Vehicle Selector script. If you open the mission folder itself and you have it set to all files, you should see the folder of the script itself and the mission SQM, and you know you're in the right folder. So all you have to do is just save. If you look at your mission folder, you should have a script titled description.ext. Let's go to the next part of the readme, the add action code example section. We're going to copy this code and you're going to either right click and copy or press control C and we're going to go back in game. This first code was for the cars, so we're going to put that in this sign. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your sign. Now just a note, you don't have to use the same signs that I do. You could use another sign. You can even use a vehicle. You can use an object or whatever, even a flagpole if you want. I'm going to edit the sign, double click the sign. Just make sure the cursor is blinking in the I and IT box and you're going to press Control V. So after you have that, just hit OK and then let's go grab the next code. So I'm going to grab the next code here and this one's going to be for the tanks. I'm going to press control C, tank sign. We're going to go to this sign here and we're going to double click the sign and press control V. And as you can see, this one says spawn tanks, tanks, tank spawn. Hit OK. And this one is for the helicopters. So we're going to grab this code, press control C, and we're going to edit this sign. Paste the code, and this one will say spawn helicopters, hit OK. And lastly, we're going to do the one for the planes. So we're going to grab this code now, 
press control C and then we're going to edit this sign and we're going to paste the code for that and hit OK. So now that we have the codes in the sign what we need to do is we need to go to the 2D map so we're going to go to markers so F6 and we're going to use an arrow filled marker I'm going to make this blue we're going to name this marker chopper spawn that'll be the markers name and we're going to give it a text you don't have to give it a text but it just it just helps identify what's going to be there so I'm just going to put heli and you'll see the word heli if you use the arrow marker and you actually point the arrow to where you want the helicopter to face the helicopter will spawn and face that direction the next marker we're going to create is the one for the cars so we're going to grab this guy and press control C we're just going to copy it and then we're going to go over here and go about this far out press control V and we're going to face the arrow this way and we're going to edit it and we're going to name this cars and we're going to name this R spawn it should be right and press OK next we're gonna go to the one for the planes and that's gonna be out here press control V I'm gonna face it this direction and then we're gonna name this planes and then we're gonna name this plane spawn and press OK and we're gonna press control V and we're gonna place this guy right here and we're going to name this guy tanks change this to tank spawn i'm going to show you something else and we're going to go to f1 and then to props and we're going to type in cone why a cone we're going to choose a road cone and we're going to place it right in front of the heli and then see where the cone is at so you see where the cone is at that's basically where the marker is at so what you want to do is if you want the heli to spawn right here you see how far out it is then just put your marker there paste the cone there paste the cone there and paste the cone here and we're gonna see where these other guys are at so that's where the vehicle is gonna spawn I actually want him closer like right about there so let's go to the map see see how far out it is and you can put a right on I'll show you another trick to that all right and then the one for the plane is way out here I don't want him out there I want him right about there is fine and you can see where that ends up put that there and then the last one is the one put him right about here you always want to allow for space so we're just going to save the scenario and we're gonna play this and see what we respawn we here we have the sign for the cars we have the sign for the helicopters we have the sign for the plane spawn tanks so let's spawn a vehicle so to change the view of the vehicle if you use your left mouse button it'll rotate the vehicle if you scroll your mouse wheel it'll zoom in and zoom out the vehicle all right so we see one vehicle what you want to do is to see the list just click on the icon at the top left and then you go over here the scroll bar is and you just pull that down and you're going to get every vehicle for both blue 4 and 04 and independent and civilian so we have a hunter we have our vehicle chosen all you have to do is just hover your mouse over this click issue vehicle and you'll notice that the cone will disappear and the vehicle will spawn there now let's say you wanted to choose another vehicle what will happen is let's go down to an off-road so we have an off-road and if you issue another vehicle 
the script will delete the previous vehicle and put the new vehicle that you chose in its place. So spawn helicopters. And same thing. And you're going to get all the helicopters, j drones, and everything in here. I don't know how I did that, but I did something. So the cone will disappear. That's, that's how you know it's spawning. And here is the helicopter. Let's spawn a plane. That's basically going to give you a list of every plane that's in the game for the vanilla game. And then if we spawn tanks, same thing. It's going to list every tanks and armored and even even some drones like the tank drones. Slammer, Sandstorm, all the tanks for every side. And there you go. Now let's say you wanted only certain vehicles to show up for the cars, for example. So I'm going to show you how to add a blacklist within the code itself of the sign. So edit the sign. You're going to go to this box right here. And we're going to grab a class name and put a class name in there. Let's say we wanted a certain car, only certain cars to show up. We choose a hunter. You're going to get the class name of the vehicle that you want only to see in the list. Right click the vehicle and you're going to go down to where it says log and then go down to where it says log classes to clipboard. Now once you do that then you go back to the notice board and you go to this box and you put a quote and then you press control V to paste the name so this is the class name that was on my clipboard into the, cla the class name you put a quote and that's it hit OK we'll delete this we'll save that and we'll display this in and you should only have that vehicle show up in the list so spawn cars if I click the list that's all that shows up here we have a hunter. There you go. All right, let's add some more class names. So to get some more class names, I'm going to put a, a prowler. And make sure you take out the AI that's in the vehicle. Otherwise, their class names get added to quad bike. And then we're going to add a hunter by itself. And that's it. I'm going to highlight all three of these. Right click one of them and you're going to go down to log, log class names and it's going to put the class names for each one of these vehicles. Delete the vehicles, let's go back to the board, double click the board and after the quote here you're going to put a comma and then you're going to put a quote and then you're going to press control V which will paste the code. So now you have to go to the end of the, the first class name, you're going to put a quote and then you're going to put a comma. And then you're going to go to this quad bike and press backspace so that it's up by. You're going to put a quote there. And then after here, you're going to put a quote and then a comma and then a quote again. Then you're going to go up to here, press backspace, go to the end here, and just press quote. And that's it. This is what's called an array. And this bracket, line of brackets here, you have class names. The class names are what these are right here. And in between the class names you have quotes. So you have the quote, class name, quote, and to separate class names you have to put a comma. So then you have another quote, the class name again, a quote, a comma, quote, another class name, a quote, then a comma, and then the next class name and then the last class name after its quote don't need a comma because you're not adding another class name. So once you have that just press OK and then let's save that play the mission. So now you should have expanded your list. Now we have a hunter, an HMG, a prowler, and 
a quad bike. And there you go. Do that for the planes, you could do that for the tanks, and you could do that for the helicopters if you want. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching and I will link the script as I have it in the mission folder in the description of the video so you can download it and use it in your own scenarios. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.